everybody. This is Tara with the Painted Cicada. And uh, today I am going live to show you or to paint with you this fun candy apple painting. Um, I don't know about you, but I am so ready for fall and I absolutely love um, all the fairs and festivals and craft shows and fun fair fall food. Um, that comes out. So um, that's where the idea for this came from. Um, I am, hi Carrie, I am going live with StreamYard. So um, let's see. Oops. Um, let me put directions on there. If you have not uh, gone live with me yet in the past or somebody else using StreamYard, you just need to give StreamYard permission. So if you open a new tab, if you go to StreamYard.com slash Facebook, um, it'll just ask you to grant StreamYard permission. And that just makes it so we can all see your comments. Um, and it helps me be able to switch cameras and be able to do all that stuff that I like to do during a live. So that's what that's all about. Um, hi, Gloria. How are you? Hey. So nice to see everybody. Okay, so um, this is what we're painting. And there are two parts that go with this. So you can check out guide 30, but first is the color list. And second is the tracer. So um, let me see, I don't think I can add. <laughs> Give me just a second. I'm going to pull up my own live and see if I can add these in a comment just in case somebody does not have them. Okay, no, it doesn't allow me to add a file as a comment. Um, so anyway, these uh, information on how to get these is available in guide 30. Um, I thought it would be interesting to do a paint by number, um, which is why the tracers got all these uh, funny little numbers on it. Um, because I used to do them all the time. I used to think they were super fun and I haven't done them um, in so long. I think um, it's just a different way of painting. And um, a lot of times with acrylic, we layer things. Painting by number is no layers. It's all separating. Um, and it's a little more, um, it makes the piece look a little more graphic or um, pop art-y. So uh, that's what I was going for today. So um, I encourage you to uh, try the paint by number, but if that's not your thing, you can always just um, paint the painting. So give me just a second. I'm going to switch my camera here so you can see my desk. Move my computer out of the way. All right. So I had a tracer. I did go ahead and trace it onto um, a bigger piece of paper. You can paint right on your tracer if, if you like that. One thing, um, another thing I sometimes do um, is I will cut down my mixed media paper or my canvas paper uh, to eight and a half by 11 and I just run it through the printer. So that's another option for you. Um, but I am just, I'm going to do this painting in true paint by number style. Ignore my wet paper uh, right before I went live. I spilled my paint water, um, clean paint water, but I spilled it everywhere. So it was almost a disaster. Um, but I'm just going to follow the numbers. Like um, if you were to buy a paint by number kit and we'll just work along that way. So um, the colors that you're going to need are all on this color list here. So white, light gray and dark gray. I'm just going to mix with white and black. Um, bright red, deep red, yellow green, apple green, bright blue, caramel brown, yellow, honey brown, chocolate brown, brown, black, and orange. So um, we've got my big chunk of colors here, plus white and black. And let's get started, huh? All right. 
So the first color on my sheet uh, is white. Let's see. Let me grab a piece of tape and tape this up out of the way. Oops. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to get some white and put it on my palette here. a little bit. All right, so what I want to do is look for all the little sections that call for white, and this is going to be difficult to see on camera, um, but basically all the white spots are the highlights. So I'm going to start, I'm going to move left to right, that way I don't put my hand in anything. And I'm going to start with all the number ones. So this is less um, a tutorial than it is just something for us to do together because this is something you could do um, pretty easily just by matching the colors to the numbers. So here on this first apple, there are three big white spots right on top. And then three white spots down here. And these are just the highlights. White was probably a funny color to start with, but that's how it worked out. And then over here on the side, I've got two more white highlights, which probably, I mean, technically don't even need to be painted if you're using white paper or white canvas, but We'll add a coat of paint on there. And then moving over to the middle apple. We've got white right here. A big white section in the middle. here. If you are watching with me today, um, let me know if you are a candy apple person or a caramel apple person. I have honestly um, never had a candy apple. I've only ever had caramel apples. Caramel, Carrie likes caramel apples. Um, when I was a teenager, uh, I went to the state fair, the Ohio State Fair. I live in Ohio. And a friend of mine bought a candy apple and uh, lost a tooth in it <laughs> as a teenager. So, it was, I mean, it was a grown up tooth. And so I've been scared of candy apples. I've never tried one. All right. So, um, the second color we're going to do now is light gray and number two and number three are our background. So the light gray starts on top and the dark gray goes on the bottom. So up here are our twos and down here are our threes. 
So I'm just going to mix some up because I've got some white on my palette. And I'm going to add in a little black, make a light gray. And then when I'm ready for the bottom, I'll add in some more and make a dark gray. So these are my twos. Here, 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 and here. really long time since I've done a paint by number um, but I just think they're kind of uh, you know the the painting effect is kind of a little different they're a little more um, I don't want to say abstract but the you know the colors are more um, done in chunks so that you can fill them in and it just I thought it would be something different and fun to do And of course, there's no rules here. So if you're not a paint by number person, you can just paint some apples, you know. like painting with the seasons so I thought this would be fun and I have been preparing a lot lately for um, some craft fairs that I do I do a lot of them around Christmas time just to make a little extra money and so I've been in Christmas mode for a while and sometimes because you like I have to prepare almost a, a season and a half in advance, I feel like I, I haven't had the time to appreciate fall yet. And we just had our first day of fall and I love fall. So I thought this was kind of like end of summer and fall is um, that's when we have all the festivals and fun stuff around Cincinnati. So, I thought I would candy apple up. All right, so there is my light gray. I'm gonna add a little more black in there to make some dark gray. And the colors on the color sheets um, are pretty, I mean, they're, you can interpret them however works for you. Um, there's certainly no rules to this painting. Apples come in all different colors. Doesn't matter what color you use for your background. So dark gray is number three. So I am just doing pretty much the whole bottom here in dark gray. Paint by numbers also causes you to look at the painting in a different way, I think. Um, you know, causing you to look at it in little bits and pieces instead of looking at the whole. You don't really have to think a lot about how the colors interact and shading. You just, you just paint. So I think it's 
it can be more relaxing. All right, there is my number three, my dark gray. And number four is bright red. So that's what I'm going to move on to. And I'm probably going to move... Um, I'm going to move to kind of a slender round um, just because I know there's lots of bits and pieces around here. I'll find my bright red. Um, I'm using this is called True Red from Deco Art. And my number fours on my cheat sheet here. Um, are pretty much most of the, this apple here and then some at the bottom and then I have some fours up here in the top of this apple as well. have some patches of white for here so I just have to be a little careful Since I'm painting this and I've never had a candy apple, I'm really kind of curious if I would like them. So that might be my homework assignment is find some candy apples. I actually think in the fall, you know, it's, it's apple season. I bet the grocery stores have them. So that's going to be my homework. My homework is to see if I like candy apples. <laughs> they stick to your teeth. I don't know if I would like that. I've had a lot of dental work, so maybe it's not the smartest thing, but Maybe if I cut them up into like little slicey pieces beforehand, that won't be so bad than chomping my teeth into one.
is very relaxing. It's almost hard to keep on talking. So there's a company called um, Mrs. Printables, um, and it's a candy company. And I think I think they specialize in just apples. Um, there's fours up here. Um, and one year for Christmas, uh, somebody gifted me. Uh, like a huge apple basket and they were like all chocolate covered apples and caramel apples and they had candy on them like um, Reese cup um, and M&Ms some of them had like chocolate chips some of them just had peanuts um, but they were fantastic and these apples were like as big as my head. They were so big. Um, and it was one of the best Christmas gifts ever. They were so good. So if you ever come across a Mrs. Printables apple, it is worth trying for sure. They are delicious. All right, those were my number fours. It's kind of crazy how much paint I don't need to use. I keep wasting paint. All right, number five is deep red. You could always go burgundy. Um, I pick just a different, slightly darker shade of red. This is a tomato red. And um, I'm, I might add just a pinch of burgundy just to darken it slightly, but I don't want it to be like crazy dark. All right. And so we're looking for number fives. So down here is a five. And... Here is a five, and then here is a five. Here is a five. So fives are pretty much my, my shadow on this candy apple part. This is really trying my fine motor skills, I'll tell you that. Going around all these little dots. Oh, Danita, I haven't either. My daughter does paint by numbers sometimes. She's got a um, paint by number watercolor kit that she really likes. We got her for Christmas. Oh, 
Alright, up here we've got fives. All right, so that is it for my fives. Is that it? No. I've got these fives up here as well. Now we are moving into number six. So that is yellow green. That is the lighter color of the apple, I believe. So I've got this is citron green, and then I've got sour apple for my two apple colors. reds all the way. All right, so yellow green, I'm going to use the citron. That is number six. All right, so that is most of the apple area up here. And then most of my apple top up here here. Thank you, Danita. Fake bake candy apples would be fun to make. I've been seeing a lot of fake bake crafts lately. Those are really popular. That would be fun if somebody would come up with a fake bake candy apple. Actually, I think I'm just really making myself want some apples. That is the downfall of crafting or painting food. And I know we're all probably in different time zones, but it's totally lunchtime here. So now I'm thinking about apples and thinking about food and my tummy is growling. All right, that was my yellow green. going to move into my, my apple green, which I'm using sour apple. I can't believe how little paint I need to do this. I'm going to scoop this right back up in here because why not? Why waste paint? Kind of silly because this paint's not expensive, but... Mm. 
right here's my sour apple so apple greens are number seven and so this adds some kind of shadow to the apple so here's some seven up here Yes, I did see um, the ranch roots fake bake candy apples. I saw something about it. I think that's what I was, saw. Maybe that's what inspired me to do candy apples. Maybe I should give ranch roots some credit. Maybe I just see food and can't stop thinking about it. That's always an option, too. have one of those um like tiered trays and those are really cute to put stuff on like fake baked food and maybe I just need to get myself a tiered tray so I can decorate it with some yummies And the last number seven is up here. All right, these are starting to look pretty apple-y. Now I'm moving into some of these bright colors that are the candy pieces over here. So I've got bright blue. This is ocean blue. Just nice and bright color. Um, of course, as you're doing these candy pieces, um, there are some number sevens in there. I guess I should do those first before switching colors. You can use any color you want for these candy pieces. You don't have to follow my number chart. Are... Yes, the, the sevens on the first apple are these, um, these candy pieces, and then um, there's a stripe of seven up here for a dark part of the apple. sevens are right underneath the six up here and then those little there's some in the candy pieces and then eights we got some eights in the candy and I think that should be the only place that we've got eights And there's actually some ones in these candy pieces as well. But they're highlights and they're really tiny. So I'm definitely doing those at the end. Okay. 
Oops, I missed a seven up here, so it's going to become an eight. All right. Lots of eights. All right. All right. Number nine is caramel brown. And so that's the color that we're going to use. Um, or number nine. Did I say eight? I meant nine. Um, number nine is caramel brown. So that's what we're going to use for the caramel. Um, so let's see. I'm going to use this color. This is actually called honey brown. <laughs> I made the colors on my color list up. So I have one called Honey Brown, but that one I'm going to use a more yellow color. But um, for my caramel, I'm going to use this light brown here. And uh, my nines are only on this third apple here. And it's just most of this apple. So instead of doing... Um, I'm just going to paint over these twisty turny things, I think. Uh, maybe I'll go around them. Should I go around them? I don't know. I think I'm just going to paint over them. That seems like the less stressful option. Because all of my twisty turnies I know are going to be chocolate covered anyway. So this whole section over here is all caramel. All Got some nine down here as well, right underneath the apple is a stripe of this caramel brown. And I use this nine uh, as well in the handles. So it acts as the lighter color in the handles. I might cheat just a smidge and add a pinch of white. Carrie, you are looking out for me. Every time I forget something, I get a nice little reminder, which is super helpful. It's kind of confusing because I forget where to look. So I super appreciate you. All right. You can certainly use a smaller brush if you want for the handle. 
I'm just going for it. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but we'll see how it turns out. I usually have a pretty steady hand, but then as soon as I get confident in that, it all goes south, you know? I think I got all the nines. It's starting to come together. It's kind of fun that it bounces around. All right. So number 10 is yellow. And I'm pretty sure yellow is just the candies. And then I've got a little yellow over here by the caramel. All right, so yellow is number 10. So I've got 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 here. got a few candies without a number so if you feel like you need an extra 10 just throw it in there um, and then down here I've got 10 This one here doesn't have a number, so I'm going to make it a 10. I'm actually going to swish a little bit of this yellow with the caramel. It's kind of cheating, but um, caramel isn't totally yellow, so I'm letting myself cheat a little. Anyways, it's not cheating because there's no rules. There's no rules in art, so you can get away with whatever you want. That's it for yellow. Next is honey brown. So in my mind, honey brown is a little bit darker than the caramel brown. Um, so I'm just going to add a pinch of darker brown. Since I have my honey brown on my plate, I'm just going to, I don't know, add a pinch of darker brown in there. It's 
So my caramel brown is this color, and I just want my honey to be slightly darker, I guess. Since it's going to be in the shadows. So for number 11, um, it's pretty much just the shadow on the caramel. So here, here, and here. darker to me. Does that look darker to you? It looks like a different shade, but it doesn't look darker. I'll have to fix that. I want it darker. Or else it's going to make me crazy. But I don't want it as dark as the chocolate. That is not the right color. I don't know, man. It bothers me when I don't have the color I want right out of the tube. This will work. I could spend all day mixing up the right color, but this will work. It just needs to be a pinch darker than that caramel. And I think I've got it. All right, that'll work. So that was Honey Brown. Got a little off track with that one. That's okay, it happens. All right, 12 is Chocolate Brown. So let's see. My Chocolate Brown, I'm just using Burnt Umber. I'm just going to add a couple of pinches of that in here. And my 12 is going to be a majority of this apple here. Um, going to give you a little hint. It goes 12, 13, 12. And I'm not going around all these little dots. So um, I am just, since they are all, all the little dots are the same color. They're basically sprinkles. I am just painting this all chocolate.
here's my chocolate. And then down here at the bottom. Oh, there's an 11 down there. Shoot. All right. See, sometimes these numbers just kind of sneak, sneak away. That's okay, because we can always go back. So that was my chocolate brown. And I did forget one of my 11s down here. So I need to add some 11. Right, so my brown black, um, I'm going to use a traditional burnt umber, and that's going to be the shadow of my apple here, and then my sprinkles. I call them sprinkles. Some people call them jimmies. My mom calls them jimmies. I just call them chocolate sprinkles. What do you call them? If you're watching with me, let me know what you call them. Oh, you're right. The swirls, Carrie, you're looking out for me today. The swirls on the third apple are milk chocolate. It's beautiful chocolate brown. You are so right. Um, yes, so I will have to go back to that. Good catch. I'd have finished and wondered why my third apple was so boring. So, I need to go back to number 12, which is uh, the chocolate brown, which mine is getting a little clumpy, so I need to add some water in there. All right, so the swirls on the last apple are chocolate brown, number 12. So for that, I'm going to take a really thin brush um, and I'm just going to add some swirls. And if you've painted over your swirls and you can't see them, um, it's okay to just add swirls wherever. Just kind of have fun with it. Oops.
These swirls are kind of difficult, but I think this is my favorite part of the whole thing. It's just kind of fun to in those crazy swirls. All right, so the last two places I need to add color is 14 is orange, and those are for my candies, and then uh, brown black for my little sprinkles. So I'm gonna do the brown black since I've got that on my plate already from the apple. a little bit of that in there since I don't have much of it left. Oops. Yeah. That's really dark. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to add these little sprinkles over here. See, I thought that was too dark, but when I put it on there, you can hardly see it. It really does need to be brown black. Okay. Let's stick with my my black brown instead of my brown black. And you can see them better, I guess. Almost at the end, I'm going to add in some orange. Just need the tiniest bit of orange for those candies. And then I'm pretty much finished. Except for maybe some touch-ups on the white and any fun little embellishments that you want to make as well. So I know when we do paint by number, it's pretty much like written out for you how the painting's going to look, but you can always add fun little details to make it your own. So let's see. I'm going to come back and just touch up the white a little bit. So I know some of these candies have white in them. And come up here and just uh, put a second coat. And really fix these white lines up here. Oh, I forgot an 11 on my brush or on my... Um, I don't know, what are they, sticks? On my sticks. I need to add the shadow to my sticks.
Well, um, I've got my white out. Don't be afraid to, you know, if you just want to add some, you know, like whimsical little white lines, you can do that. There's no right or wrong here. We're just kind of um, finalizing this. And I need to add some color to my sticks. So that was 11. So 11 is just the darker version of the caramel. I should have done this earlier, but that's okay. Oops. Just adding some shadow on that stick. So that's pretty much all I have. Like I said, you can come back and touch anything up. Um, you can add in, you know, if you feel like you need some, some fun little whimsical lines with the black or whatever you need, feel free to add it in there. And that's it. I am so glad you guys painted with me. Let me pull this tape off. That's my favorite part to get that nice clean line. So yay. Um, let me switch my camera here. So this is what I have. Some delicious candy apples. Thank you guys so much for painting with me. Um, if you paint with me on the replay, uh, let me know, throw in a hashtag replay. And I would love it, love it, love it if you would share your painting in the group so everybody could see. Um, thanks guys. Ooh, I'm gonna drop everything. Thanks for painting with me and um, I'll be back later this month. I'm always in guide 30, so um, I can't wait to paint with you, uh, with the other presenters, and make some fun crafts, and I'll see you later. Have a great day.